This week, we're taking you to rural Finland. Located just outside the Helsinki region, this is beautiful Kirkonumi and the Pokhala Peninsula. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Alishka, this is Jack, and We Film Things is where we share our <laughs> everyday adventures and travels with you. You're running in the woods! <laughs> Should we go? Yes! <laughs> this is our house, but our child is running away. <laughs> I think that's a rock, Raya. <laughs> Come on, it's cold. You need your jacket on. <laughs> Can you tell she's been on an airplane all day? We've arrived in Finland. This is only like 40 minutes out of Helsinki. We rented a car and driven straight from the airport to this cabin. Whoa, a picture. Yeah, a picture. Ow, she's. Our base for the next few days is this beautiful lakeside cabin in a secluded spot in the woods, sitting on the shore of Nittilampi Lake. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing any of the Finnish names here right, I'm so sorry. We had an open plan living area with sunset views, two double bedrooms and a mezzanine that could probably sleep another two to four people. Hello, we're in our house, <laughs> having tea. Can I have some tea? Can I come visit you in your house? Ah, thanks. Okay. Okay. A cosy wood burner and of course a sauna, in which no finished cabin is complete without. Outside! Do you want outside. to go outside? Yes. It's time to check out the lake before the sun goes down and it is looking beautiful. Are you guys on the swings? Uh, Look at these guys. Yeah, <laughs> is this our outdoor kitchen? Summer cottages are a thing in Finland. There are an estimated half a million cottages dotted around the countryside where people go to escape the city or for longer stints in the summer. It's nothing like having a second home or holiday home in the UK. They're often super, super modest, sometimes off grid, but they give you access to these incredible places and allow you to spend some quality time in nature. <laughs> Ray is running. This is actually the first little getaway that we've been on, just the three of us this year, which is mad. So we're soaking up every minute and imagining what our lives would be like if we did live in a secluded cabin in the woods. Not bad, I think. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, this has to be one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's actually incredible. Right about now, I started feeling that almost spiritual overwhelm that only spending time in nature can bring about. Whenever I feel like that, it really makes me question why we live in a city. All we ever want to do is escape it. What? What an incredible sight. I just saw two herons landing on the water. I didn't manage to film it, but God, they are stunning. There's a deep dark woods. 
Somehow, despite being up since seven, we've only made it out at 10, as usual. <laughs> That's a very nice face. Cook. Cook. It's for cooking, yeah. Are you gonna cook? Yes. Okay. Cook. Cook. <laughs> but Cheese. it is. Cheese. It's like she's making fun of me every time I vlog. <laughs> it's freezing here. We're at the start of May. When we left Manchester the day before we flew out, it was 19 degrees. And this morning is a grand total of two degrees here. It's beautiful, but it is cold. So we've got all our layers on. You know how yesterday I thought they were herons? So apparently they're actually called whooper swans and they are specific here to Finland. We don't have them back home. I'll put an image on screen, but they don't look exactly like our swans. Whooper swan, the national bird of Finland. Oh, it's the national bird of Finland. Yep. We got greeted by the national bird. What do you think about my hood? It looks lovely. Oh, got really cold ears. <laughs> Smells like a fighter jet's back room. <gasps> wow. Getting quite a few fighter jets flying by this morning and I'm hoping that that's a training thing rather than just because we're really close to Russia. It turns out that the southern half of the Girkonumi municipality was leased to the Soviet Union between 1945 and 1956 for use as a naval base as part of the peace settlement between the two countries at the end of World War II. And today that same area is used as a Finnish military base which hopefully explains all of the military activity overhead. To my earlier point about it being rather chilly, it's just started snowing, so that's not entirely expected in May, to be honest. <laughs> we may have potentially underestimated the weather a little bit. <laughs> Didn't expect a snow flurry, did you? Nope. This is what life in Finland would be like, Jack. It's just a lot of winter. Part of what's fascinating about it snowing right now is midsummer is the end of June and it's the start of May at the moment. So the days are really long, but then it's snowing as well, which is really at, at odds with like what I would normally be used to. Jack is really putting in a shift because Rhea is now very heavy. She's probably almost 12 kilos, maybe 11 and a half. So it's a lot to be lugging around. What do you think of Finland so far? It's yeah. vastly populated. I've seen like three people. <laughs> like Namibia, but a European version. You've hardly been on camera for this past year. Have you got anything to say for yourself? Post, postpartum. <laughs> You're postpartum, I. Like. Yeah, it's postpartum me. More kind of elusive and mysterious. Right. You just catch glimpses of me. I see. What if the viewers were here to see you though? They're not. <laughs> Can confirm they're not here to see me. I don't think they're here at all to be fair. They might, they might come back to us. Maybe. Friends, please leave Jack some encouragement in the comments below. He used to be the driving force behind this channel and now I'm struggling to even get him to speak on camera. So yeah, a little help from you guys would be much appreciated. <laughs> oh, it's like on the picture. Mm. In true Finnish style, the cabin came with multiple spots where you could grill outside on an open fire. So how could we resist to give the grilling a whirl whilst Rhea napped inside? One or multiple members of the family may have had an afternoon nap and we're just putting on some extra layers. I think um, there's a pretty cool coastline nearby, so I'm just gonna drive out and yeah, check it out. Putting on double pants. At this point, we all layered on pretty much every piece of clothing we'd brought to Finland with us and headed out to the Porkala Peninsula. But what we think we're gonna do is go down to the tip. The Pamskatam Pisto Trail is a fairly easy route that includes a campfire site, 
And highlight is the windy tip of Porcala, which provides a great view of the wide open sea. So far, Raya's main entertainment has been the salt trail. <laughs> These yellow markers led us all the way through the forest to the coast. Trail making is something that Finns do really well and something I think the Brits are really lagging on in comparison. With no clear path this would have been quite a difficult route to navigate, but the markings made it very simple. This weather, madness, madness. Are you guys hiding from the storm? Yeah, we're watching it. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing. Mommy, yeah, is it snowing? Help. And now it's bright sunshine again, literally seconds later. If you are Finnish, or if you've ever lived in Finland, I would love to know if this is typical weather for the time of year. It's the start of May at the moment. Is this like the equivalent of our April showers in the UK? I'd love to know if you know. <laughs> The landscape here is so beautiful and diverse, going from thick pine forest to a rocky coastline with beautiful views of smaller islands dotted in the Baltic Sea. Yeah, we're nose. We're your nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> saggy, saggy, go. Okay, okay. Thank you, darling. Mm. This is the Pièce de la Résistance. It's a banana and it's got some Ritter, Ritter. Ritter chocolate in the middle. Hey, Ray! Which brings the story du, 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 du. We're about to leave our dreamy cabin set up and we're very sad about it. We like it here a lot, but we're gonna go into Helsinki and check out you and your little house. <laughs> That's a good house. Rhea had moon and bed sheets on before, which I thought was a very cute addition. We're going to check out, is it Lindo Island? Linlo. Linlo Island, before we head off into Helsinki. But we thought we could stay here forever, to be honest. Just us in a secluded little cabin by a lake with all the nature. Whooper swans, a massive lake, and it's just beautiful. Apparently, Jack saw two moose. Two moose loose about this hoose. What did they? What were they doing? We 
we've just arrived at the crossing over to Linlow Island. So we're gonna cross over on foot and there's apparently loads of hiking trails around it. I'll get it in a minute. Cross the road first. We can just hear moose in the background. I tried to catch it on camera, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it. Oh, we are assuming it's moose. It could be like elk or something bigger, definitely. It might be deer, but let's hope it's something more exciting. Moose! See? Can you hear that? Rare's trying to convince us it's a rhino. <laughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? Moss. Moss. Well, did you sleep in our bed, is that? Yeah. Me too. Let's check out if there's I think we can make do with this. All right, it is snowing again. The fire is back in action. So we are gonna prep the sausages. I'm just using a stick that I've hardened in the fire to put our little sausage slits in. Just a man feeding his baby, toasting a sausage on a fire in the snow. <laughs> Would you say you're an expert sausage spinner? No, mummy is a Finnish sausage spinner. <laughs> and then you just pop it in your bread like this. You actually use the bread to pull it off the stick and hopefully it's melting the cheese in that. Mm. And that is delicious. There's a whooping swan. Run! So guys, in case you can't tell by the face, <laughs> exhaustion has well and truly hit. We are now in our Airbnb in Helsinki. So I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I think it makes sense to keep the two parts of our stay in Finland separate. They're kind of different vibes. So tune in for the next one, which will be Helsinki. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Our little cabin stay was so zen and just exactly what we needed and it was, we just had a great time as a family as well. I'll leave a link to the Airbnb that we stayed in by the lake in the description below in case anybody feels like booking it or if anyone was tempted by those beautiful scenes, I know I would be. If you got this far, then thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next one, which will be in Helsinki. Bye guys.